It's day 307. I have a mosquito larvae infestation. Click on the associated video link to see the experiment related to getting rid of these things. I had to act right then and there, otherwise they probably would have emerged as adults within a few hours. So these cuttings have never looked better. And on day 309, I pruned an offshoot far over the balcony rail. It was hanging very low. I don't want this stuff growing to the second floor. And I accidentally cut off this flower in the process, not knowing it was attached because I can't see over the rail, not with the table and all. It's a very beautiful flower. It's got an exquisite structure. It's got these thin curled rice noodle looking appendages um, sticking out in all directions. I wonder how many there are. Probably a few hundred, maybe 360 isn't a far off guess. So it's got these giant stamens and anthers and whatnot. On day 310, there was this other flower that I saw on day 309 that looked just as beautiful, but it was in the shade. So I didn't get any good video footage of that. But it looks like that now, which is a great disappointment. I realized that these flowers only last for one day. So they're the exact opposite of orchids but maybe not losing out in beauty in comparison. And the flower I just showed you in the previous clip, it looks like that on day 310, so it's gone. And it looks like a fruit could have developed if everything was still attached, but it won't, of course. So there are no other flowers to show you, but I just wanted to show you that because it's a key milestone in this plant growing series. And because I had to deal with that mosquito infestation, it was time to fertilize again. I used two heaping scoops of miracle Grow Flower Boost. At this juncture, fertilization is critical. I washed out the soil with so much tap water after a hydrogen peroxide treatment to get rid of all the mosquito larvae. You can see those cuttings are wilted again. So that's how they are. They can't compete with the main vine. And once the sun hits everything, they droop like that. So I've done the best I can and hopefully I'll get a lot more flowers in the coming days and I'll have a lot more footage to show you and eventually hopefully these can self-fertilize and become passion fruits. So I can't wait for that. Thanks for watching this update. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page as well.